Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be going over in-app guidance. So right here in the setup menu, go to the quick find box, click there and type in in hyphen app. Click on in-app guidance. So if you're wondering what in-app guidance is, it's right here. And we'll just have to read the uh, you know first few sentences or just the first sentence add learning prompts in your app to get your users attention onboard and train users highlight configuration changes and news introduce new features and more so it's a great way to just uh, you know give them prompts uh, of uh, what sh what they should be aware about um, you know, minimal training and such. But I will show you how you can set that up. So click on the add button once you scroll down to the page. After clicking add, it is going to take you to the in-app guidance builder. Now this is where you build it. Click on any object, tab, you can go on any app to your desire. So you know what? Let's just stay here on the uh, home page of the uh, Sales Cloud app. Let's go to Add. So you're allowed uh, two types, single prompt and walkthrough prompt. I'm going to go over both in this video. For now, select single prompt. Click next. So there are three different prompts, floating, docked, and targeted. Let's look at floating. So as you can see right here on the screen, this is the floating prompt. And with these prompts, they can be placed on, uh, on pages and apps. This page, any app, any page, any app. But for now, we're going to keep it as this page and this app. What's awesome about the uh, floating prompt is you can uh, place it in nine different uh, areas of the page by clicking this drop down. As you can see, it moved. Top center. Pretty cool. But let's go through the docked prompt. It's pretty stationary, pretty standard. It kind of just pops up out of nowhere. You can expand it, you can uh, close it out, or you can, uh, you know, minimize it. But let's uh, let's go through a uh, example with this one. So go to next. We'll call this uh, home page. All right. The title is Learn This application all right and let's put a summary here this is a great application obviously for your users you would put more details uh, probably more details about the uh, <laughs> home page but this is just a demonstration now you can uh, add uh, some images here if you'd like. Um, there are some certain requirements uh, as such, and I'll leave a link in the description for you to uh, review. Now, when it comes to videos, uh, there's a certain way you have to actually apply the video. All right, so I am going to get you an example. So once you have your video, um, you want to go to the share button and click on embedded. Now, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. It has to be uh, a certain URL. But unfortunately, it uh, kind of just highlights the whole thing. So I will show you quickly what you need. Okay, so 
here is the uh, URL. You're going to notice it says embed here. Let's go back to the video. As you can see, uh, there's all this uh, statements, codes, and such. You want to take this right here, where it says HTTPS, starting from there, and uh, at the end of the uh, URL. Make sure you take off the quotations, otherwise it won't work. And, and this is the URL you need. All right. So uh, let's click Save. Action button. Let's uh, call this uh, Click Me. And action URL will be a link to the documentation. Go to Next. Uh, how long do you want this to show? OK. Let's say the whole week. Uh, we'll do show when the page loads. All right. Uh, let's show it oh, five times. <laughs> one, uh, you know, one every day. Go to next. You can assign a specific profile, such as sales users or like a sales manager, but I'm going to just select no profile restrictions. You can also add uh, permission sets, uh, assign uh, who's uh, involved in what, like view all, modify all. But uh, uh, it's not necessary because uh, I think profiles would do justice for it. And uh, I'm going to go to next. Let's uh, just call this home page. and uh, save. Okay, we are done here. What's also neat, you can also, uh, you know, change things around like the URL for the action button. Just to show you once you're in the in-app, once you're still in the in-app guidance builder on the top left gear icon, you change the schedule, profiles, uh, assign permissions, uh, you know, assign it to a profile user and such. But, uh, that's it for the uh, single prompt. But you know what? We're not done yet. Let's go back and you know what? Let's test this. All right. So you can click on start testing, but you know what? Let's make this easier. So select the one that you just created, right? So drop down right here, click on uh, preview. It will take you directly there. Okay, cool. Right there, it loaded just as expected. And, and uh, yeah, play that video. Sorry, it was a little loud. <laughs> and that is a single prompt with the docked prompt. Up next will be the uh, walkthrough. So we're back in the in-app guidance setup menu, and we are going to do the walkthrough prompts. So click on the Add button. here and let's go to opportunities and uh, go to the top right corner and click on add click on walkthrough click on next and instead of floating let's do targeted so before I go through this something I do want to mention I think walkthrough uh, prompts are pretty cool because you can add multiple steps and I believe this is the real way you can train your users all right so we're gonna pick targeted prompt I think this is a pretty cool future feature added and um, let's click on the targeting mode so right now we're in targeting mode as it states so let's uh, click something here all right, so let us click on this related. All right, so that is highlighted. And let's use custom positioning. All right, let's see. Let's do 
left. Let's do top as it appears. Awesome. And uh, let's go to next. Let's put all right. Let's put uh, close, or you can put dismiss. It'll be right here on the left of the uh, prompt. And uh, let's add another step. I'm going to select target it again. Let's do uh, targeting mode. Let's just click on the details. And let's do the positioning again. Let's do top. Yeah, we'll keep it there in the center. I think is important. Go to next. And let's call this uh, fields. And uh, let us say fill out next steps and stage value. Obviously, uh, you would add more uh, details to this for your end users to understand or give them more directions. But in this demo, I just want to make it quick to show you how you can use in-app guidance. All right, so let's just put close. And uh, yeah, I would add more steps too. You can also rearrange these uh, slides. You can also close out the flyout for more spacing. And here's an undo and redo button. Pretty cool, right? So let's save. Let's say, uh, just say, click me again. And uh, let's add the action where users can refer to for, uh, for more information. Click next. Let's do the 31st of March. And uh, let's do show when page loads. Uh, we'll do five again. And uh, yeah, show it once, you know, days in between one. Okay, no profile restrictions, no permission restrictions. We'll call this up. Save. All right. So that saves, and uh, we're done with the walkthrough prompt. Now let's test the whole thing added. All right, so let's exit here. Let me refresh this. Let's just click on start testing. Awesome, this appeared. Let's go to the opportunity. X this out. Let's go to a record. Cool. And awesome. And uh, click me. It's going to take me to the documentation, but anyway, that is it for uh, in app guidance. Uh, please make sure to check the uh, links in the description for more information and uh, helpful resources. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you in the next one.